Live from Shadowmere Studios, it's Talkie Box. We'll leave the light on for you. It's it's true. These lights never turn off. Mm -mm. That's not true. No? For them. No, yeah, yeah for oh, them. For yeah, them. Yeah. Yeah. They the never turn off on. for them. Right. Mm -mm. Yeah. But they were off when I got here. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I, mean, well, I mean, that's them. just, that's just you know, true. We'll turn the, the lights off for Joey. Yeah. <laughs> He's part of the show now. Yeah. Right. True. <clears throat> well, I guess, let's go ahead, and, go ahead and get the introductions out of the way. I'm Dave. We have uh, Jason, Jason, and then uh, Justin. Hi there. And returning guest Joey is here tonight. Woo! Hello. That's hyphenated. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Returning guest Joey. Returning yeah. guest Joey. That's my new name. Yeah. Write that down. He's uh, he's <laughs> a, <laughs> writing it down. <laughs> <laughs> he's a uh, uh, you st still going to school for journalism, right? Yeah. Uh, tech. Yep. Yeah. I haven't dropped out yet. Good. Good yeah. for you. Good for you. Like, I like how you just call it tech. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we actually are could be any technical school, any True. kind of tech. He could just be studying tech. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be nice. I didn't say it was a technical institute of any kind. That's true. You just said the word tech. I just tech. said the word tech. 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 Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's been going on? Nothing really. I just got back from Colorado. Um, what were you doing in Colorado? See my sister. Yeah. So is she hot? And that's what they all say when they go to Colorado. Yeah, Justin. And <laughs> I was I, just going to see my sister. Justin and I saw a bunch of sisters while we were in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you didn't answer my question. I'm not going to. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is she single? No. Oh, I don't care anymore. Okay. <laughs> She's in Colorado. You know, you don't want a long distance relationship. That's absolutely true. I do not want a long distance relationship again. Those are not fun. Been Ooh. there, done that. Dave says. Yeah, I've done that several times. Like. And it, and it multiple ended relationships wonderfully. That typically, only, I think only one of them started long distance. Like I had three of them that ended up long distance. Yeah. So that blew. Yeah, that does blow. Yeah. I, I've always just been kind of like a, it's, it's not gonna work. Like our long distance relationship is now a, sort of a unilateral friendship where we still respect and love one another, and there is still. A spark of romantic interest there. However, we fully expect each other to go off and play the field. Right. You know, like <laughs> yeah. you just I can't keep you reined in, and you know, I mean, I don't really have any options. Or whatever, but <laughs> I, can't, I can't keep you reined in. <laughs> I mean, no one's gonna keep this stallion in the stable. Yeah, no, but I didn't. No. I gotta be out in the pasture. <sighs> uh, wait, I don't know. This. This analogy's gotten really weird. Yeah, I don't understand <laughs> where I'm going with it. I feel like there's a trust divide with long-distance relationships. Like, really hard. Uh, I feel like it'd be harder to trust the person, you know. I mean, yeah, you have that mutual, like... You know. It can't. It depends on the type of person you are, I guess. Like, if you're well, more yeah. trusting... Like, I've always just been a trusting person in relationships. And... Maybe that's backfired on me. I don't know. Like, maybe I've been cheated on. I literally don't know right. if that's happened or not. It's never come up. <laughs> Whereas, no like, one's by the way, this said, happened. Like, yeah. Just so you're aware. Yeah, so I, I've I've never had an issue with, with that. Right. Uh, at least not from my end. I've had multiple girlfriends who, who were very jealous people, and, and um, you know, they, they were not okay with... Anything. <laughs> it's just because you're such a stud. They were just Dave. not okay. I, they weren't, and mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't enough for them. I was like, I would never cheat on uh, you, right? But and, Dave, you're just. And I can't sure. prove that I'm not going to cheat on you. Like it's not something you can prove. You're right? just too <laughs> cool. There's no way that they believe you. Women sure. are like lined up, like around the corner. Which corner? On the sidewalk. Which which sidewalk? The one that leads to the entrance. Of <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Is it behind me? <laughs> well, oh. I guess that, that, that comes down to your like... preference. <laughs> <laughs> that comes down to your preference, but right. uh, it can be wherever you like. All right. <laughs> uh, you just got to look. Choking on my so seat. You're just like the lead of some like <laughs> illustriously long Congo line, apparently. <laughs> Like every you go to the you know the supermarket to yeah. get some watermelons or whatever, and there's just like a bunch of ladies. I like that. That's your do you like, buy multiple watermelons? watermelons? Uh, like, I don't think I've ever bought more than one watermelon at a time. No, no, not multiple. No, I don't watermelons. think so. Why oh, would you buy man. multiple? They're big. So that you can go to a place with very few watermelons and sell them for twice as much. Mm. Mm. Yep, like the desert. Yeah. There you go. Oh man, you can you can kill. With watermelons in the desert. You can kill with watermelons you anywhere. Can really, I mean, honestly. I mean, truthfully. Yeah. You can kill with watermelons. Speaking yeah. of things that are lacking in the desert, is that a new mug? 
Oh, we've already done that bit. Oh. Yeah, we've had these <laughs> for a couple weeks. Yeah, somebody's you haven't been watching the show. <laughs> somebody has been not watching. Uh, <sighs> this is well, why yeah, they, they probably the don't have these me. in the desert. I guess. No, I mean, I mean, they could. <laughs> they might. Yeah. I mean, we deliver. If it were full of watermelon, I think it would do better. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's currently full of hot tea because my throat has been uh, kind of sore today. And it is delicious. Mm. Mm. Well, it's making your voice extra salty. Yeah. Sultry. Whichever. Yeah. If it's salty, it's because you're here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you he doing? to have that effect on people. Who, me? Yes. I'm doodling. Yeah, like, loudly. Yeah. <laughs> like that. So You just anyway. ruined it. Yeah. Forget it. Video games. Uh-huh. I play them. Uh-huh. And I have been playing Assassin's Creed. I spoke a little bit about that uh, pre-show. Right. Uh, the reason that I was talking about it was because... I find that there are a whole lot of things that you can learn from video games. Like if you pay attention to the the extra information. Like Assassin's Creed is always put in some sort of a historical backdrop. Right, yeah. And every time that you pass a historical landmark on the street or every time that you know you are present in a historical event, it sort of asterisk that thing and like puts it into like this special library that you can right. go through and you can read all of this historical information and and I feel like that would really help Americans educate their children is if if we could actually adapt that sort of learning mm -hmm. into the school system right. yeah I, I think that uh if you could get the kids to actually pay attention to that part, that's the issue. Like that's the issue with a lot of games like that, where they have a whole lot of information that you can find, but most people don't want to or don't care yeah. enough to actually look into that stuff. Yeah, it is, oh, I mean, there's uh, a lot of rare. In fact, some of the the things that I actually read, mm -hmm. they get snarky about like, oh my god, I can't believe you're actually reading this. Like really? the writer <laughs> takes the time to be like, I know nobody fucking reads this. <laughs> well, I take the time and I read all that yeah. stuff and then I get to read all these little comments that they leave in there for me and That's cool. nobody else apparently. Yeah. Right. Not a soul. That's cool. Yeah, yeah the there, there's one. other games I've played where it's like like um Bladestorm. Yeah. Which is a game about the Hundred Years War where you play a mercenary that can fight for either the British yeah. or the French and uh and it has the you know the actual uh people who are in the war, like the the Black Prince and like all the, all these historical figures and it tell and it gives you some backstory on them. It's it's actually pretty cool. Joan of Arc and everything is involved and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it gives you a lot of uh, geographical information yeah. about well. France and stuff like that. Um, a lot of uh, like Sid Meier's games. The mm -hmm. the civilizations. Those are, those are really good. Yeah, those yeah. are good for uh, educational purposes. All the all the sim games that are you know teach you about uh, Sim City. You know mm -hmm. even the original Sim City like taught me tons of stuff about. How to properly plan a community? What, yeah, right. what zoning laws are used for, <laughs> and like why you need to keep certain zones separate from each other? And right. If, you know all of these different. Little... Not all the sim games are like that, though. You also have like sim ant. Yeah. Yeah. Sim which, pets. Which did teach sim me a lot was about fun. ants. Yeah. Like there's a bunch of information in there in their little like uh, simopedia or whatever that they call it. Oh, really? It tells you like all the different kinds of ants that you play, uh, like all their breeding, mm -hmm. uh, like the the what they eat, where they live, like it, it gives you tons of background information on I ants. I did not know that. In Simi, you just have to you know look for it. Give yeah, a shit. Give a shit. <laughs> you just have to care. Yeah, you know, I definitely didn't when I was playing it as a as a teenager. Right, and and that's another thing that I I've definitely, I guess just one of those things about growing up, but like. As a kid, I didn't care that much about going to school and all that stuff. Nowadays, I love to learn and yeah. and and find out new things that I didn't. Not necessarily about everything. I don't care about everything, but you know, there's definitely times where I'm like, I didn't know that, and that's actually really interesting. Well, I want to learn more. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Wikipedia is fantastic for that, <laughs> <laughs> even if it's possibly not true because it's peer edited or whatever. But still, no. there's a lot of good information in there. Oh, well, there is. I know it seems silly, but uh, even like your your Gran Turismo's and your Forzas and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I know you're a fan of racing oh, the Forza, games. Yeah, yeah. 
uh, a lot of those you can actually get into them and tune vehicles mm -hmm. and they give you all of these tutorials about like what the jargon is what the different ways to get in and like right. change the camber of your wheels and like change you know different exhaust things and different mm -hmm. transmission things and gear yourself out into different ways so that you're changing gears at different speeds yeah. and stuff you can you can tune your vehicles you, and you, you can learn, learn, learn so much right. about cars in these games so much about cars yeah. and and that's one of the things that i would like to learn at some point i, I haven't really pushed that yet where i, where I really want to get into it. but at some point i would like to to know more about you know how to do that kind of stuff with engines and all that stuff but, yeah. yeah i mean a lot of it's basic physics but, well, right. but still right. like to to see it in action mm -hmm. in in an actual machine is is a lot different um and and I I could go on with examples. I mean, there's just there's so many games out there that like yeah, there is entertainment is their number one priority. Mm -hmm. Right. But they put in a lot of these yeah. extra information things. And in, for someone that is out there and hungry for this information, you can learn a lot of just random important bits of information just from playing video games. I know there was these when I used to when I was a kid. There was games that I would play that. They seemed chocked full of like educational stuff. Uh, Math Blaster. Not sure yeah. if you ever played that one. Chock full of education uh, about math. <laughs> And it was a there, lot of fun. I remember there was one that... <laughs> See, it's almost like there's sarcasm there, except I had fun playing Math Blaster. I, had, right. I legitimately had fun playing Math Blaster, but that was when like I needed an excuse to play video games, and they weren't going to let me play mm -hmm. my PlayStation, but if I got on the computer and played, like, Echo or Math Blaster, I would always choose Math Blaster, and I have a blast. Yeah. Yeah. Because was, Echo was, was terrible. Game. Echo the Dolphin? Echo the Dolphin. Oh. On, didn't, on your computer? Yeah. I had it on, like, Sega Game Gear or something. But. Yeah, it was a computer game also. I didn't know that. Yeah. But there, there was a game that I played in when I was in school, I think middle school, and it was actually on our computers at school, and it was, like, this weird um, dinosaur game. Like, you would go... You had like a, 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 a time machine, I guess, and you would go into the past and like, you know, go through these different scenes and find different dinosaurs and some of them would kill you. But it was like you would learn about the dinosaurs that you were coming across. Oh, wow. And I think we've learned a lot more about dinosaurs since then. So a lot of that information was probably wrong. But... It was always pretty cool. Like the it wasn't devil invented dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was like at the very beginning. <laughs> I did go to school in the south, so. Um, but yeah, I remember it, like it wasn't even an action game. It was literally like you're supposed to go and take pictures of these dinosaurs, and when you take a picture, you get information about the dinosaur. Yeah, yeah. that's called Pokemon Snap, Dave. Yeah, that was before that came out. Oh, yeah, and it's about real things. Yeah. that existed on Earth, not Pokemans. Not not Pokemon, Pokemon Snap. No. But um, I actually saw, I was reading the other day, and I think it's Massachusetts. They're um, developing video games for people with autism mm. and um, depression and different, and actually trying to get legislation passed to push prescription video games. And That would uh, be interesting. Yeah. And so it's like stuff to help them develop their motor skills and things like that and with the VR headsets or whatever. Yeah. And I always thought that that was really interesting how... Because used to, playing video games would be like something your parents would tell you not to do. But if you can right. pull out a prescription, be like, ha, you know. <laughs> I have to play Grand Theft Auto. I have to kill these hookers. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> crazy. So, like, like, you can have a prescription to own a dog, and you can, like, have a prescription to smoke weed, and you mm -hmm. can, like, have a prescription to play video games. Like, I feel like I'm not in the right place. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. <laughs> like, I need to go check out these prescriptions and right? see which ones work best for <laughs> like, me. There's a doctor out there can just tell me to live my life the way I'm living right now. Yep. Yep. You're doing okay. Yep. Here's a prescription for your lifestyle. Yep. Get you a dog, <laughs> smoke some weed, play mm -hmm. this video game. I have a dog. I mean, it's my parents' dog, right. but... <laughs> It's totally my dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's probably it would probably be a prescription for like a really shitty video game though. Yeah, yeah I don't know how they didn't like show a demo of the game obviously, mm -hmm. but um, you know I would hope that it would be better than just like a little two D well, video. Right. right. Let's right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to prescribe you to one week of Mike Tyson's knockout. Punch out. Yeah, that one. Yeah, punch out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
That's what I meant to say. Mm. It just didn't come out that way. And then what's funny is that there's like generic knockoff drugs. So you would like get the doctors <laughs> that would be like, you know, uh, Michelle Tassons, you know, knockout. And you'd be like, I thought it was Mike Tyson's punch out. Like, uh, it's it's close yeah, enough. It's, it's, it's the same, same thing. thing. It's basically the same coding. Yeah. It's just know, the generic the other one is just brand recognition. Yeah, that's, that's, right. all, it that's all it is. You're, you're paying an extra you're, twenty. You're bucks paying for, the for their advertising, <laughs> and and to be able to bite the guy's ear off at the end. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, a, that's a Mike Tyson joke. That guys. is. Yep. Yeah. All right. Cool. What's the combo for that one? Landed it. Uh, a B B A. All right. B. Was... There were only A and B. You only had. Yeah. Uh, up up down down, left right left right B A. Select start. Um, <laughs> I just got you 99 lives in, in uh, Contra um, and probably other games probably you know that, you remember the game genie yeah you're not a big gamer and you're like 20 but still the was, game genie the and game shark game yeah. shark and game genie I never had a game shark I had the game genie for the Super Nintendo and do you know what we're talking about at all oh cheat code yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a cartridge yeah. just specifically designed I didn't cheat. have that I had, I had a book I had a big huge book they sold at the book fair Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I had one for the uh, for the Game Boy, the the Game Boy Color, mm-hmm. and you slucked it into the slot, and then you put the game on the other side, upside <laughs> down, slucked, it, slucked into it into the slot, slucked, into the slot. Yeah. slucked it right in there. <laughs> and uh, I love it when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's 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 a weird. It was a weird device, but I loved it as a kid, like yeah. playing my games and be like, I'm gonna walk through walls. The only the only issue I found with it is that like. There was no updates for it. Like once you had it, that's what you had. And if new right. games came out, no, sorry, you got to buy it? another one. Yeah. <laughs> it was only like Game Shark, like towards the last years of its life. I don't know if Game Shark is still out. Not a sponsor, but mm-hmm. I haven't seen Wait. one in many, many years. Game Shark was that? What was the what was the video game Netflix? Um, oh, game Fly. Game Fly. Okay, I was like, that's still Game around. Thing, but okay, yeah, Game that's Fly still is around. the other thing. Yeah, Game Shark came after Game Genie. Uh, and it was like an updated version, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, but both of them, like in the instruction booklet, it told you like, here are the codes we know about for the games that yeah. are on this system. However, feel free to just spend hours <laughs> in your trying room other codes. trying random codes yeah. because at any time you could come across something that right. like patches you through right. their their code. And... Well, I, I probably I gave maybe five to ten hours tops of, of just trying of just trying. It's like oh, zero, 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 zero. <laughs> no, I mean I remember going online like, oh, I'm at school. I can't forget to look up these Game Shark codes, mm. and I would go and I would like write me like, all right, walk through walls, invincibility A, B, E E E E E E E E E E zero zero six five. Got it. <laughs> Damn it! No, there was there was only four E's. Oh, uh, I don't know which one. Oh, <laughs> uh, and it's just ruined. It is. They were, like, they were like 30 letter codes or oh, something. Oh, they were they ridiculous. ridiculous. Yeah. They were ridiculous. You had to like put in like 18 different codes that were all like one letter away from each other mm-hmm. in one slot in order to get it to work. And uh, sometimes it would just crash your game and ruin it. <laughs> That's all crazy. save data deleted. Like, <laughs> oh, no. Now, I remember yeah. with uh, Saints Row 2 on the PlayStation 2. Like, because this book, it was small, but it had every console. It had, mm-hmm. like, the Game Boy, it had GameCube, it had all oh, the... Yeah. D- and you flip through, and you're trying to find yours, and then you got to find the game, and, right. you know. And, um, yeah, like, I bought the game, unlocked everything, and I played it for, like, probably a good three months. And then I was like, oh, I, there's nothing to do anymore, because... Because you were a cheater. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's see, now... It's all in mods. It's all about mods now. That's yeah. that's your way of cheating these days. Right. Yeah. And Justin's I've tried a few of them off. Loves mods. They're they're I'm fun. I'm a purist. I like yeah. I like pure. I like it the way that the coders intended. Right. And I, so I try. I don't even like it. buying DLC. Like I don't. Uh, want. I, I love the DLC and I like mods. Most of the mods I use though, they're not the cheating mods where I get like infinite mm. bull crap or whatever. I just like changing things in the game just ever so slightly, giving myself different abilities that I wouldn't have access to or, right. or whatever. And uh, th- those are fun to me. I like... You know, like I laser like, vision or, or super flight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when you're supposed like to be like a, a guy on the ground. And well, like a, a good example is I, I have mods for the Fallout 4. Now, granted, I have the PlayStation 4 version, so mm-hmm. it's not nearly as good. Uh, but 
the ones that I do are things where it's like enhanced sound, where they increase the level of some of the sound effects and decrease other sound effects and add some in so it sounds more real. Hmm. And like lighting mods where it's more realistic lighting, realistic hmm. weather and stuff like that. The, so the, the lush reskin that you did where yeah, everything brings was, green back to the yeah. environment was actually very beautiful. The, the, really? the yeah. landscape was glorious when you put a touch of green back in the I'm world. sure, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was cool. like a grass mod. It just yeah. pff, grass and bushes everywhere. And it looks really good, and it doesn't affect the gameplay so right. much, but it does affect, like, immersion. Yeah. And I like playing around with stuff like that. So the right. mods that I look for are like, how can I make this more immersive? Mm -hmm. Or adding things like uh, like a hardcore mode. Uh, I know on the Xbox One <laughs> there are mods that let you do the, uh, you have to eat, you have to drink, you have to sleep. And uh, you have to, like, you can't, you have to go to a doctor to heal, like, uh, broken limbs or... You, you can't just do it on your own. You yeah. can't just do it on your like You have to go to There's a doctor. No taking a pill to fix your broke spine or whatever. You're going to drag <laughs> yourself to a doctor. Right. And, like, and so those are fun. Like, granted, it's not the way that the game was intended to be played. That's not how they designed the game. Mm -hmm. But you can turn it into almost another game yeah. Yeah. with the same skins. And it, it's it's just a different experience. Do these typically cost anything, or you just have to download it? No, most of them are free. Okay. Like mm -hmm. I, I know the mods on the Xbox One version of Fallout 4 and Skyrim are... Tippy top. Mm. Tippy top. Yeah, Microsoft's a big fan of modding communities. And yeah. Whereas Sony didn't allow them to do as much. Like the, uh, the max uh, mod storage limit is much lower. You're not allowed to add or change scripts or use um, outside properties. Whereas on the Xbox One, you can do all of those things. And you can more or less just take their game engine... And, and a lot of their skins thing. and just rebuild it however you want and just smack my microphone. But like <laughs> you can just rebuild it however you want and like change faces and like bring in all this other cool stuff. Wow. PlayStation, you can do a lot, a lot more than I thought they'd be able to do. But it's still very limited in comparison. It's it's not as robust a system as you get in the Xbox One version. Yeah, with the, with the Xbox, you can actually rebuild the world, re-script everybody, change everybody's faces, and you can add audio it, files. You it can, can be a space game, or mm -hmm. it can be whatever. You know, hmm, awesome. you can you can change it however you want. Whereas on PlayStation, no go. It's basically the same game. You can just do stuff that's already in the game in a different way. Hmm. See, I would know all this about my Xbox, but every time I turn it on, it wants to update again. So, How often do you turn it on? Like, at least once every two weeks. Well, that's why. But, but why <laughs> does it... Every time I, it does the update, like, the home screen looks different. Why do they... I don't understand. They're, they're like, trying to keep you on your toes. I feel like if Xbox you're not a dedicated one, player, you're going to lose track real quick. Huh? Xbox One? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm one of those. Because I, uh, I even got a notification uh, earlier one. this <laughs> week. It was like, Xbox is redesigning the home screen. Again, and I was like, "Why? Like, it's fine. Just leave it alone." I think it's just you know so that they can slip in little tracking cookies and stuff like that to to make sure that they can better serve you and all of your needs, and also make more money, and also make a whole yeah. lot more money. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, don't have that problem with my Xbox 360. I think they've given up on it. Yeah, they have. <laughs> well, they have. You know, uh, they haven't updated the Internet Explorer app. Uh, yeah. on 360 since 2012, I believe. Which is funny because there is no Internet Explorer anymore. Right, like it's, it's Edge. Now, yeah, Microsoft Edge. Yeah, and, and, and this is a Microsoft product. This yeah. is Xbox 360 yeah. with Xbox or with Microsoft's Internet Explorer. And they yeah. just said, and we're they're not like, giving you any no, more support. screw yeah. you guys. You want Flash? You want HTML5? You want to be able to do anything <laughs> on the internet besides like very surface mobile phone kind of app right. stuff like sorry bud get the get the xbox yeah. one that's yeah. exactly what they're saying they're like you know what this isn't gonna work anymore you know what you should do <laughs> buy an xbox yeah. one this, this relationship money. isn't working out for us anymore because you've been paying us yeah you've been giving us money and we're gonna need you to give us more, more money, money. When was the last time you gave Microsoft money? It's it's been a little bit. There you go. Well, I, I do pay. Got to reinvest. I pay the annual fee yeah. for the okay. Xbox Gold because it's the cheapest. Right. But technically, if you broke it down, I would be paying by the month. I like just pay in bucks. a lump sum. Like two bucks a month. I think it's like it's six, sixty bucks a year. I think so. 
That's what five, five bucks, bucks a month. month. Five yeah. bucks, six bucks, yeah, something like that. Yep, I I gave I bought a few games on there recently, so I've I've given them a little bit of money. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, playing, that's the really. I've actually been playing the Saints Row games. Oh, okay, yeah. Because uh, they they gave away the fourth one for free a while back, and played that really enjoyed it. That's how they get you. And then recently they <laughs> they they had a sale on the other ones, and I was like, fuck it, I'll get them. I see. I and did the exact I, same thing. Yeah. I, I fell into a trap recently on something similar, only it wasn't a video game. It was the uh, Walking Dead graphic novels mm-hmm. uh, on the iBook store. Yeah. They were running a, the first one was free, and they were running a sale on like the second and third one. I'm like, well, I might as well give it a try. Right. Now I'm seven books in. <laughs> <laughs> are you paying full price now? Or are you still? Uh, yeah, they're now $12 a graphic novel. Mm-hmm. That's how they get you. That's yeah. how they get you. <laughs> but I will say. Uh, it's my understanding that quite some time ago mm-hmm. uh, that some of our, our loyal listeners and viewers asked us to compare uh, the Walking Dead series to the books. To yeah. the books. So I, uh, and now uh, you've read the books. I, I haven't read yeah. all of them. They're, I'm like out of 30 right now. Yeah, at, oh, that, wow. at that time, I don't think any of us had actually... I think you might have read the first book or mm-hmm. something. Nope. No. Do you, do you watch the show? Yeah, I've seen yeah. the show. What about you, Joe? You what, you pay attention to The Walking Dead at all? Nope. No? no. Oh, it's so good. You gotta you gotta give it a shot. Yeah. No. Gotta give it a shot. I can say that there is huge differences yeah, between I've heard the that. graphic novel and the and the show. Like, and you can tell that there are some things that if you had read the graphic novels, watching the show, that you're kind of being taken on this ride for, mm-hmm. and then they just they take right. a, they take a quick turn, and you have like then you're lost. Yeah. And going from the opposite side, having watched the show and now watching and now reading the books, mm-hmm. going through and reading them, I'm, I'm having these certain expectations, and then they're turning it on me. I'm like, oh, <laughs> so that how that must be how it felt right. on the other side. Like, right. I think this person's going to die. They lived, <laughs> and it just throws you for a loop. Yeah, I have heard that there, there's definitely a few characters where they died in the book way sooner than they died in the show. And then the opposite is true as well. Yeah. Like where you're watching characters in the show, like, oh, this, this guy's not going to last long. He's a stupid asshole. Mm. And then he's la- like, you're still around. Like, I had no idea. <laughs> right. Um, you're leading another community. Like, <laughs> what, what the hell happened? But it's, it's still a really, really cool read. And right. I, I like that. I like that there's this stark difference there as well because um, it gives me something to, like, it keeps me on the edge of my seat. I don't yeah. know what's going to happen next. Um, they still lead in like the a very similar direction. Like they follow that, uh, you know, campsite Atlanta to the camp and the the, prison the farm and, and then the prison yeah. and then Woodbury. Like you're following that same path, mm-hmm. but the way that the characters interact and the events that lead up to them are wildly different. And right. it, it's making for a really really fun read. And I've heard mm-hmm. that even the some of the books are even. Like more gory in, in parts, and, and like the, it's a much more graphic. There are some novel. very, <laughs> some very graphic pieces. Like yeah. not, not to to get too deep into it and give it, give away any spoilers, but uh, there is one point where everyone's minding their own business, mm-hmm. and then they, uh, this one guy walks into the room and uh, finds his children's heads chopped off, and oh there God. was nothing wrong with them, and then they turn into zombies with their heads chopped off. And it's gruesome, and you have no idea where it came from. It's like completely out of left field, and uh, and then you get more towards the reasoning a little later on. But right. it's it was it just really threw me off. Like I never remembered kids getting their heads chopped off in the show. Right. But they do keep a lot of those dark tones. I mean, for it being AMC, like that Negan's Night. Like if y'all have seen up I've to seen, where yeah. where Negan settles the score up to that point or whatever like mm-hmm. that's an impactful night oh, and, yeah. and that's sort of a pun obviously but but oh. but it, it's it's chilling to watch like you watch it and yeah. you you can really feel the pit of your stomach just just go away that's actually the end of where i've seen so far i haven't seen i saw that was the end of the one season where negan shows up and he's like about to choose somebody to, to beat the shit out of uh and that's where i ended it i haven't you don't know who got their I know. shit taken care of? Yeah, I, I know. I just haven't watched it yet. So That sucks for you. Because I watched it without knowing, and it, it changed me. It, yeah. d- it does. <laughs> it does. If For anybody who has not 
seen the episode or, or, or follow The Walking Dead, just know that there is going to come a point in this show where I don't care how much Game of Thrones you watch, you are going to feel utterly betrayed. <laughs> <laughs> There's, yeah. like, I've watched many seasons of Game of Thrones, and I have felt betrayed at several moments, uh, the Red Wedding being the most particular and poignant moment I can think of. But there's a point in Walking Dead where yeah. you, just, you just don't even know what you're, what, 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 what you're doing anymore. Now, Game like, of Thrones, what is this for? <clears throat> yeah, Game of Thrones is actually a show where I've, I've watched the show and read the books. And it's it's another case of like, wow, this is way different. Like there's a lot of differences. And of course, there's five books and we're up to like season seven of the show and they've they've gotten to the point where they've surpassed the books. And yeah. I think we talked about that on the show before, like where now they're just kinda of working hand in hand, like I guess I'll finish the books at some point. No, yeah, he's he's partnering with the show's writers and producers to write the last book and to write the last season. Like they're writing the yeah. finales of these of this together. He's he's with them writing the finales. Oh, is this season the last season of it? I don't think this I, is I the think last season. season I think next season is. Oh wow! But, but he's apparently, working with them to figure out how it's going to end. Apparently, they're doing a prequel series after that. Of course they are. Because um, why? Which which is actually the money cow. That's true. Die. But it's actually interesting because they're while they've 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 alluded to certain things in the past of you know of the of the of the events. Y- you know, there's there aren't books of all that stuff that's happened, right? And so this would be entirely new territory where they just get to make up whatever they want as long as it leads up to the events of the show, right? And they can start back as far as they want and and work forward. And you know, apparently, uh, I don't know if this is confirmed, but I'm pretty sure, um, uh, what's his name, the guy who played Ned Stark, Sean Bean, mm-hmm. is apparently signed on to. And we know that he's not going to die in this series. Because <laughs> we know he at least makes it to the part where he dies. Yep. <laughs> Spoilers. So, yeah, if you haven't seen the first season of Game of Thrones, like, from eight years ago, I don't care. Now, I legitimately am a big fan of that style of writing. Like, I... What, uh, Betrayal? Betrayal. Yeah. <laughs> I, I grew up uh, in in 80s and the 90s watching movies that were super American. Mm-hmm. The good guys were always going to win. Very formulaic. The, the Very girl formulaic, was always yeah. going to get in trouble and then get rescued. Mm-hmm. Like, there were just certain things that you grew to expect, you grew comfortable with, and you knew the solution to the movie before you even began watching the movie. Right. Yeah. And everybody thought like, oh, that's what America wants. They just want to be spoon-fed a good old story that they know the ending to and nothing creeps them out or gets weird. That's not me, though. Like, mm-hmm. I've always just loved the creeping out, getting weird part. <laughs> like, that's that's what I want is is that realism, that, that grit that, you know, that shows you, like, these writers are actually putting themselves into these scenarios and like right. thinking like what's the most likely scenario to occur we do live in a world where good guys don't always win true like we we live in a world so why doesn't our art reflect that world mm-hmm. like right. don't let our art just be this fart dream world like <laughs> make it real and now they are yeah. they they've heard those whimpers from from their audiences saying like no more fart dream worlds no more fart <laughs> dream worlds no more fart dream worlds that doesn't really roll off the tongue no it doesn't no, it's i it's don't think i could chant that to a studio no they would try no, no more fart dream worlds <laughs> no more fart dream worlds how about how about no. fake fart dream worlds no more fake fart dream world no, no i don't like it yeah i'm uh, sorry it I'm, needs to be four Four things, yeah. Yep. No, we'll, we'll, fart, have, a, we'll have a sign meeting after the after the. All right, episode. we'll do it. Yep. <laughs> we'll cool. just we'll just sit around Indian style and we'll make a bunch of signs. Up. <laughs> <laughs> um, you you can't help it, can you? In, in, <laughs> you can't help it. It it just. Bleh. <laughs> <laughs> like like Indian style is actually a racist thing to say. <laughs> It's the, do I mean dots or feathers? You don't know because you're a racist. racist. Oh, what a <laughs> racist! God. But uh, uh, what is that? Lotus? Oh, is it? Is I don't it, know. 
cross-legged. Legs, I don't legs know. crossed. Yeah. Crisscross applesauce. Because I, I know if you have both. Cr- what? Crisscross applesauce. No, yeah, that's what he said. Crisscross will make you jump. <laughs> um, that's what I learned in school. <laughs> that's what I learned in the 90s. <laughs> yep. Atlanta. Yeah. Hip hop. Um, but do you know what we're talking about with crisscross? They're Atlanta hip hop stars. Oh, there were, there were these two young boys, both named Chris. They wore their clothes backwards, and they were hip hop stars. They sure were for a year and a half. Crisscross <laughs> will make you jump, uh, jump. I think I think one of them passed away. Actually, really, I believe so. Yeah, well, that's upsetting because I believe they're younger than I am. No, I believe. Yeah, they are. I believe so. Well, I don't like that <laughs> at all. <laughs> I don't like it when people younger than me go. No, Mm-mm. people older than you, fair game. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the way. <laughs> yeah. When the, it's always super sad, sad. I don't like it when the young go. Yeah, that's true. You were talking about something. Yeah, I, I probably was. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, is it cross leg? Because I know Lotus style is when you have both ankles in elevated positions. Like you sort right. of you have to like pull one ankle through <laughs> through the leg and like set it <laughs> on top of like, your knee. Like just through it. Like, yes. Yep. Oh. Yeah, like phase, like dimensional phase. <laughs> Give it a try, Dave. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. No, no. You no, know, just use your superpowers. Oh. Yeah. I turned those off for today. That's oh. good. It does interrupt with the with the audio. Yeah. 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 It's uh, EMF. No, no cheat codes. No cheat codes. Yeah. Cheat codes. Somebody plugged a game shark into Dave <laughs> one time. <laughs> just hit a bunch of random it, numbers and it was on. it was Dave who plugged the Dave <laughs> the game shark yeah. into Dave. Now he walks through walls. He's got laser vision. He flies. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, game Brian, shark. make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> Not a sponsor. It also I don't explains think they, the, they exist anymore. It hey, also explains Brian? the glitch. No, no. Brian definitely exists, and we love him. Yeah. <laughs> game shark. Game genie. I don't think they exist anymore. No, nah, probably not. Not not with disc ba- based games anyway. Yeah. Like once once PlayStation came out, I think game you know Game Genie and Game Shark kind of nixed it. I mean, they only they only make the disc versions anymore just to uh, have people impulse buy. That's the only reason to have them anymore. With the newer systems, you can download all the games. You don't need the That's disc. That's true. The right. whole idea is to just like, oh look, this game, I'll buy it right now instead of having to log on to their console and go digging in the store they can get people on impulse shopping well i think it's also well, like the, oh batman the, arkham asylum the yeah the reason i do it is, is resale community re- resale but also yeah. be, to have physical ownership of it yeah like, because at any point my my hard drive could get wiped or something like that or but or, your membership or my, holds that or my my you know an account can get hacked or something. like something could happen where i no longer have access to that game or or that file, whatever it is um uh, I've seen because that's happened with like uh, what was it iTunes has had issues with mm-hmm. that where where um, things will happen and people will just lose their entire iTunes like everything all their files. So that would be very upsetting. Yeah, right. Because a lot of people have like a thousand, ten thousand songs. Right. Exactly. Bought, even though you and, get it all back, that's still time you'll never yeah, get back. And that's you know somebody plugged the wrong thing into the wrong slot and and suddenly it, it just wipes their their entire uh, file system or whatever. But that that's the reason I have as many video games as I do, like in physical form, because I want to have a physical copy of the game. Now, don't get me wrong; I definitely keep physical games. Like that's yeah. what I prefer because for a digital game, you have to reserve that hard drive space. Mm-hmm. You have to right. have that data readily available. Yeah. But it's also the the convenience of it. Like, yeah, right. I can't I can't trade that game in. I don't have that physical game. Mm-hmm. But if I want to play it. I don't have to find it and put it into my system or anything like that. I can just That's like true. click. That, that is the trade-off. Is that it's convenience. You know, I could I could sell that game, but at the same time, that that disc could get scratched or broken. Yep. Yeah. You know? I mean, think about like uh, release parties back when there were games that we you know were really really excited about. Like, mm-hmm. oh man, this game is coming out at midnight. They're doing a release party. Yeah. Whereas now you can start pre-downloading the game hours before it releases, right. and then at midnight it just unlocks. Like now you yeah. can play it. Jump right in. Yeah. You don't have to go and wait in line somewhere yeah. or anything like that. You just turn on your game. At, you turn on your system at midnight, and there it is. Which, right. which is just the beginning of the end for GameStop. Oh yeah, <laughs> and yeah. all those other well, the big because the industry doesn't really like the resale community. Like it's good for getting their games exposed. Yeah, but in terms of financially, it, mm-hmm. it is a detriment to oh, a yeah. lot of a lot of game studios. And you've seen a huge increase in like game studios closing down. 
and games that we will never get to see sequels to or that will never see the light of day right. simply because they weren't making enough money on royalties because all their games are just getting resold. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Um, the thing, the reason I like the physical games is, especially when I was younger and like had a lot of friends in school and stuff like that, if one person bought the game, then you'd all go to their house or you'd all get to borrow it or yeah. you'd get to, you know, and stuff like that. That's the cool thing to me mm-hmm. because when they started doing all the digital downloads and stuff, you can't, like, oh, here, I'll send you the game. Right. It doesn't work that way. Like, well, I mean, you can on torrent sites, but you have to have some sort of prowess in order right. to do things like that. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I, I feel like the, the resale community is definitely going to keep that aspect alive because I know a lot of people that that play that system, that they buy the new game, mm-hmm. they burn it out in, like, a month, and then they resell it for basically top value, you know, spend 70 on it, get like 50 back on it, yeah. and then just put that 50 and float that 50 back to the next game. So yeah. they're basically just paying a $20 a month fee to have <laughs> the new new all right. the yep. time. Right. And you might as well just do Gamefly, not a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dave, it wasn't saluted. that bad. Uh. <laughs> I mean, you you might as well. Um, I don't know. (laughs) I've actually never tried it. I I don't know if they've actually got the new new all the time or if they're actually like, or if you got to like get on a list and like wait for your copy to get sent in the mail and then you're like, oh, well, I should have just gone and bought that shit. Yeah, I don't know. I remember remember when uh, Netflix first started, before it was a streaming service, it was a physical thing that you got in the mail. And there were definitely times where, especially if a movie just came out, where like you might not be the first one to get that movie, you might have to wait. You're gonna wait a few weeks, and yeah. like it'll ship whenever it comes back in after these forty right. people who requested to yeah. get it first. Yep. Right, we've got a list, and you ain't number one. And there's so many times actually where there were several things that I wanted to see on my list, and and like they never came back. Like they, I never got to see them because like it was it was really hard to find. Like um, uh, the SWAT Cats cartoon. Oh, SWAT Cats. Like, actually getting a DVD copy of SWAT Cats is incredibly hard. Like, they're very rare. And so, I guess Netflix had it, and then someone got it, and never sent that shit back. Yeah, they had, like, five wow. copies of it. It got sent out ten times. Five <laughs> people kept it. And they yep. were just like, we'll pay the fourteen ninety nine. It's cool. Yep. I can't find this shit nowhere. So, <laughs> it's mine now. Yeah. And so, like, there, there was, like, six or seven different titles that I, I wanted to see. And it, they're always in this list at the bottom where it's like, may, maybe eventually we'll get them back and then you can check it out. But check it out then, uh, until yeah, then, like, uh, you guys yeah, remember the old days of Blockbuster video, yeah. right? Like, that's a century ago, I Which, know. Which, there's still, like, ten stores. Yeah. Are there really? Yeah. There's actually there's a Twitter one. account that says the last block, Blockbuster. And there's, just, there's, yeah. there's actually about ten stores. Uh, there That is the most famous one, which is in Texas. But there's several in uh, Alaska, apparently. Like, most of the, the remaining stores well, are in Alaska. Well, that makes sense. Like, like, that could make more sense. I feel. Yep. Hey, they ain't got very good internet. Right. Nope. <laughs> they ain't got. There's not all. It's it's old timey in Alaska. Yeah. But you know, you you go in there, and I used to work there, and it was a corrupt system. You know, you'd you'd go in there, and this was back when they had VHS still. Uh huh. There would be like it maybe be a twenty five dollar movie or whatever. We'd have already rented it. 10 times and mm-hmm. made the 25 bucks back. Oh, yeah. Somebody will rent it. They'll be late with it. We'll tack on like a $4 fee. They already paid like $5 to rent the damn yeah. thing. Every day it's late. Like another fee comes in. There were times that I would, people would come in and I'd be like, you know, you've got a $35 late fee, right? And they would pay that. Like, yeah. That's you insane. just paid double the actual cost of the movie. Yeah. You could have just bought the movie and kept it forever. Yeah. And the fact that Blockbuster was allowed to do that, was allowed to penalize over the value of the actual product, seemed like a, a huge ripoff to me. I mean, of course, now there's only 10 of those motherfuckers. So. <laughs> the, same, the same could be said about like, make libraries. My money back. Though. Like, libraries are the same. And like you know, if you keep a book longer than you're supposed to, they're going to tack on a fee. And that could get pretty substantial. I, now, granted, libraries run out their books for like a full month or something at yeah. a time, but... So I, I, I still owe about uh, probably a hundred and eight dollars on uh, an audiobook version of uh, Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. Really? 
<laughs> it was like initially whenever at first they, they said like, well, you're never going to return this. Mm. So don't even worry about bringing it back. <laughs> don't, nope, I don't, don't, don't do it. Cause you owe us $40. Like, oh, well, shit, I don't have $40. <laughs> All right, I'll save up and I'll pay it. And then the next thing I know, like, let me see, I need to go ahead and pay this. A hundred and what? <laughs> All right, well, I guess uh, that's never getting paid. Yep. Yep. So that just is that still racking up now? I mean, probably. Oh my god! When you die, they're gonna be going through all your bills and stuff, and it's gonna yeah. be like a pretty soon your, gar- your wages are gonna get garnished <laughs> to like Gwinnett County Library, wherever yeah. it was. Yeah. They're like, well, you owe twenty thousand dollars for this <laughs> one version, of, <laughs> this one audiobook of Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting our money. Yeah, that's our you know projected revenues on that audiobook. Yeah, you're teaching the kids <laughs> to read, buddy. Yeah. We're getting new computers. <laughs> You're going to build a library. <laughs> They're going to name it after me. That's yeah. very nice of you. They're going to name it the Half-Blood Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Do you think they'll, uh, do you think they'll like, call me for like to model the statue? I think so. I want my yeah, statue absolutely. in there. I don't care as if I wear a As soon as you get there, you're in handcuffs. I don't yeah. care if I wear a dunce cap or not. I want a statue. <laughs> no, I think you would deserve one. <laughs> But that level of commitment, <laughs> no, I refuse. Yeah, uh, yeah I've, I've never really understood. You there know. are children in the world who never got to hear that book. That's true. Because you kept it. I did. Do you even have it? Like nope. You, no. Nope. You just lost it somewhere. I lost one disc, and that was motivation <laughs> enough for me to not turn it back in. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like like where's disc eleven? Fuck if I know. How many discs are there? <laughs> there were like sixteen discs. Jesus. Good lord. I, I feel CDs. like a lot of these yeah. these fees they should have cutoffs. Like there should there only should be, be a like a an X amount of percentage that you could ever charge in fees for this specific thing. Yeah. Once that amount is reached, I mean, it stops. Like you know, like water bills and things from when you were a dumbass eighteen year old kid and all of your roommates abandoned you. Not that that was specifically my case, <laughs> but I'm just saying <laughs> that maybe I owe some money to a water company somewhere that they're never gonna get. But <laughs> that's but, why he stays off the grid. That all makes sense. But we'll but you know, like out. just those situations where like, oh, okay, we showered with fifty dollars of your water. Some dumbass kids, they didn't pay for your $50 of water. Now it's like a $680 shower month or whatever. You're never going to get that money. Right. So why pretend to it? Yeah. Why, you know, just so that you can write it off on a bunch of exorbitant write-off claims for your big money to be able to take tax breaks off of me, you know, mistakenly borrowing $60 worth of water. Yeah, I just don't feel like it's fair, like to crush some dumbass kid's credit line. Yeah, because he, he was needed, a dumbass kid. He needed water. He couldn't live here without having water turned on. And then when he had trouble paying the bills, what did we do? We told him to pay more bills. Yeah, like that just doesn't seem like it'll ever work. No, there's a, a ton of counterintuitive systems, but it's all about uh, a lot of those things go to uh, debt buying. Like, which is like a huge, uh, it's like a multi-billion dollar industry in the com- in the country where they get to a certain point and they're like, well, we're not going to pursue this any further. So they'll sell it to a firm mm-hmm. who will pay, you know, pennies on the dollar for the debt. And now you technically owe them the full debt. So they're like, right. all right, that person owes you five grand. We'll buy that debt for you for $400. So now you write it off. We give you 400 bucks. And now this dude owes us $5,000. Yeah. And then those companies will keep selling it to a point where, you know, your debt has been passed around right. across all these people and you still owe that money. And I think that's one of the reasons why they trump up that debt amount is so that when they do sell it, mm-hmm. they can get closer to their actual loss or whatever. They can get more yeah. money because they're only going to get so many cents on the dollar. They right. might as well get as many dollars back as possible. Right. But even then, to a point where... They're going to make their full return. They're not going to get anywhere close to the fees that they were charging you, but they're going to get what they lost yeah, at the very least. It's still a least. buster move. I mean, A, it's not like I could go somewhere else and get competition water. You know, It's not <laughs> like I can go... So, you know, If you're in Georgia Power Zone, if you're in the city water zone Pay or whatever, shit. like you 
and that, them that's what you got are tied together yeah and sure the government puts stipulations on them but sure they also pay the government to ease off on those stipulations yeah so it's just a screw me kind of scenario not that i'm talking specifically about me <laughs> right all yeah. of us the royal me the royal you yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, i mean that's how it is with cable i feel like if you live in a certain part and if comcast is the only thing it's offered like in your apartment building you're getting comcast that sucks or for nothing. you right yeah. You know, you're getting the worst company in the, the world. Worst. Mm. Worst. The worst, worst, the worst in the world. Where they the hire the customer service representatives that hate you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you hate people? You mostly, come on in. Yeah, yeah. you get hired. <laughs> it it amazes me how it is widely known that Comcast is the worst company in the world. And yet and they yet, still they don't do anything about it. No. Like they know it. They know yeah. they're awful. Oh yeah, that's why they changed their name to Xfinity. It oh, was is that what they did? They're gonna it screw was, you forever. It was completely because they wanted a fresh brand image. Yeah, it's yeah. like Value Jet. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when they crashed? Yeah, and then they changed their name so that people would still ride there. What they, they changed to? Uh, Air Train. Is Air Train? I don't know. Something. They, yeah, it's something. Jet Blue. Is it JetBlue? No. no. I thought that was a different thing. You know, I'd... I think it was AirTran, and then AirTran, like, died. So Planes keep falling out of the damn air. Yeah. Because <laughs> they, just, they just repainted them. They didn't fix them. <laughs> Put a new name on that thing. It'll fly way better. Yeah, we'll get at least three more trips out of that sucker. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, and that's a tragedy. I'm sorry those people died. Sorry. Yeah. And you're not. I mean, I used it for comedic purposes, but Fair enough. really, that's... Almost all good comedy is based on something horrible. Yep. Yeah. Like my personal experiences in my life or, or just whatever. Not not the the water issue though, right? That's not Definitely it. not the water thing. That was a complete total hypothetical. Yeah. Right. yeah. I think I made that clear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I think so. All right. Yeah. Clear as water. <sighs> Pure. I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm, clear I'm, as I'm, water. Clear well, ass water. Clear as the tears I'm crying. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's one thing I always thought was weird about like water companies. It's like they're getting that water back. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, you're I mean, selling me water that you're going to get back and then clean now, up and then give back to me. To like, be fair, they do have to get all of the shit out of it. <laughs> yes, that's <is> true. <laughs> they have to, all of the shit that's in there, they got to put somewhere else. Yeah, but they actually charge a lot of water companies charge the wastewater fee. for the wastewater yeah. fee. So yep. you're getting you pay for the water that comes in, and you pay for the water that goes out. Yep. But you, you know, you know who really has the racket? What like like water bottle companies, like the mm -hmm. people that sell you the different bottled waters, which yeah. are, I mean, delicious and loaded with le electrolytes. But it's what plants crave. It's mm -hmm. what's it's what plants crave. <laughs> <laughs> but they all they they go and they just basically like buy up patches of land that have mm -hmm. spring access. If and, if that yeah, and then they just <laughs> take all that water yeah. and then turn around and sell it to you. There there's definitely there's literally companies where it says on the bottle. I'm pretty sure that it's just like it's just bottled, bottled at a in municipal a source. Like, yeah. Which means city water. Like we got this yeah, out yeah. of a water fountain in your park. <laughs> there's a dude <laughs> just sitting next to a spigot, like <laughs> just hose water. <laughs> Cap it up. Get that tank. <laughs> <laughs> so, but still, at least you have the option there. Like you can go drink out of some neighbor's hose rather than buy those bottles. Yeah, I mean, if that's what you're into. <laughs> whereas, whereas moving into a home, whether it be you know a home you own or a renting situation, like you have to have water turned on. Yeah, like, right. Unless you have a well, which a lot of people nowadays don't. Mm -hmm. which they won't even let you dig one. Yeah, a lot of municipalities and a lot, a lot of different towns and stuff will not let you not have water or right. not have power connected to your house. Like the people who, who want to live off the grid and produce their own and stuff, they're not allowed to. Yeah. Which, like, which is, is ridiculous. Why you're not, you're not yeah. allowed to collect rainwater. Yeah. Like it's a, it's a law in a lot of areas that you are not allowed to collect rainwater, which to me is... Doesn't make any sense. It's absurd. It's yeah. it's it's just absurd, like... It's the damn water money lobbyists. Money mongering water lobbyists. Well, I mean, to an extent, it's generally because like... You get the off the grid people that know how to do it, and then you get the off the grid people that don't know how to do it, and then those become like toxic mosquito infested cesspools yeah. uh, that like 
infect an entire neighborhood with Zika virus. Right. Uh, whereas like someone else could actually be like properly, yeah. you know, curing the water and like keeping it uh, potable. Which seems to me like you just created a job of someone that goes around and checks that shit out. Yeah. Like it, I don't see create that a being. licensing system or something yeah. where you have to, if you don't want to use our water, that's totally fine, but we're going to send somebody out and make sure that it's actually okay. Safe you're going to pay a one time right. fee. Just for us to come out, and you'll probably have to pay that one-time fee once a year for us to come out and check it out every year. (laughs) Next time you pay it, it'll be a two-time fee. (laughs) Uh, But I agree. We talked. Justin brought to my attention a a beautiful technology in one of our very earliest episodes from um, the SpaceX guy. Uh, Uh, Elon Musk. Elon Elon Musk. Musk, He came out with those tiles the, yep, the solar panel t- yeah. roofing yeah. tiles solar, solar City. panel roofing tiles that mm-hmm. should the moment that they were conceived and created and shown to be working mm-hmm. should have just revolutionized the world like the yeah. next day right uh however like that's power to everyone however unless you live I'm under the in the extreme north or, or south you still can't even buy them i'm still i'm under I the mean, impression that they're still like putting enough pressure yeah on on that that like he can't even sell them here. But, well, I mean, think about like uh, solar roadways. I think we've all seen like that one video on Facebook. You know what I'm talking about? Where it's solar roadways. Yeah. And it goes into this whole like 13 minute video spiel about these solar roadway panels, which like have LED lights in them or mm-hmm. like being produced cleanly. And if you replaced like a certain percentage of the roads in America, it would produce like three times the energy that the world uses in a year. That's crazy. But and they we're just, not doing it. We're not no. doing it. I mean, it would solve a lot of problems. Yep. It's because there's people out there that are making money with coal or making money with, mm-hmm. and yeah. they just, you know, we have to make our money. Right. But <clears throat> uh, what I don't understand is with energy companies is why not reinvest into new technologies, into like opening new industries mm-hmm. that you know you're going to get your return on. Like you, you charge a certain amount of money to to develop these industries, and then eventually everyone's going to be on board with it because it's just going to make more sense. Right. And I mean, it's not even to say that they couldn't charge the exact same amount of money for electricity produced by these other means and still make their money in return. It would just be better for the Everything, world, yeah. right? Just be better mm-hmm. in general. <laughs> Plus, solar roadways seem so cool. Yeah, <coughs> that sounds like a cool like bill, you solar. know, a solar roadway bill. So, uh, Justin and I, on our way up here, we mulled over a whole bunch of ideas. However, we settled on the best, which is drive-through refreshment kiosks. Uh, you know, people are just becoming more and more. Uh, lazy and in their bubble, not wanting to get out, not wanting to have to talk to people or interact. Just, just so you're aware, you have about two minutes to run. To two minutes, <laughs> I got it. So you go, uh, you go basically to these gas stations where uh. you just want a soda or something like that. You got to get out your car. You got to go in. You got to get it from the cooler. You got to go buy from the guy. Rather than that, there should just be little little drive through kiosk areas that are basically vending machines. You put your five dollars into it or whatever you hit the the gatorade or you hit the the pepsi plus or whatever and <laughs> and you get your you get your little your snickers doodle and, and all, of, all of that sort of stuff yeah. and, and you just drive on your way yeah and and basically you know it would be an extra step of convenience so what do you good. what do you guys think i think that sounds great i think uh that's that the first one that gets put up is going to get stolen almost immediately <laughs> Like someone's gonna come up with a truck and a chain and just yank that motherfucker out. I know it's gonna be like <laughs> warehouse size, man. It's gonna be huge. It would have to be. Oh really? It would have he to said be. vending machine. Well, yeah, vending machine. But I'm it would thinking be a big of more building. like a like a stage sort of thing, like an emissions tent. Oh, okay. what I was okay. picturing, where you'd have sort of an emissions tent set up somewhere that mm-hmm. would be like drive-through refreshment, and you would everybody would just be in a line. You would go through, and you'd have like. Your big old, it would be suddenly just made it worse. Like everybody's in a line. I could have just parked at the damn store, gone in. <laughs> That's what I, exactly what I thought. Yep. I mean, you could have, but you gotta, you gotta go to the store. You gotta get out. Like people, 
could get out at McDonald's, mm -hmm. but they don't. They're in that big, la long ass line stretching all the way around the McDonald's. Yeah, waiting when you on can their just nuggets. go in so two minutes dumb. later, yeah. and you walk out. <laughs> like, no, but see, in their car, they can just sit there on their phone while they wait, or listen jam out to their tunes. Mm -hmm. I can, I can do all of that inside. Yep. You can, but do you? No, you're at the drive-thru. No, I actually typically go inside. All right, well, do you, America? No, you're at the drive-thru. <laughs> no, you're at the drive-thru. Yeah, you're at the drive-thru. All right, so what did you learn, Dave? I learned the term uh, Snickers doodle. <laughs> Snickers <laughs> doodle. <laughs> All right. And Pepsi Plus, whatever that is. Pepsi Plus. It's delicious. Yeah. If you, you don't You should have heard the phrase da uh, Jason came up with on the way over here. Yeah, we'll save that? that for another time. Oh. Yeah. I wanted to, to learn wait. that now. You'll have to wait. What did you what learn? Was. Huh? What did you learn today? What did I learn today? I learned that Jason has never skipped out on a water bill. <laughs> never. No, not, not once. once. Yeah. Not once. <laughs> not once did he get screwed over on a fifty dollar water bill that's now nearly nearing six hundred dollars. Right. Did not happen. Possibly over that. Possibly more. <laughs> Definitely possibly more. In this hypothetical also possibly totally more. hypothetical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Not real. Hashtag not real. <laughs> Joey, what'd you learn? I learned that there was like actual cheat code cartridges. Like, You're so thing. young. Oh. <laughs> it's adorable. Thing. Physical things were a thing at one time. It's yeah, crazy. Physical That's things true. existed. Yeah. yeah. Game Genie. Look it up or don't. Jason, what did you learn? <laughs> I learned that uh, Dave's having a birthday real soon. Yeah. And Sunday. we should all subscribe to Talkie Box and tell him what a uh, old motherfucker he is. <laughs> I didn't get him any gifts. That's fine. I didn't get Same. anything for your birthday. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. But I am still the oldest person. No, in it's not story. true. I paid for half of your uh, margarita. That's true. Or a third. Yeah. 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 The, the I paid approximate. For, I paid you paid for, for a that. third. Yeah. <laughs> Margaritas. Most summary thing I've done uh, yeah. this summer. Good times. Well, thank you, everybody. That's, That's it for tonight. Y'all have a great night. Uh, subscribe and buy things. Talk yep. about And tell Jason he's awful. Yep, tell Jason he's awful. I am awful. Good night. Have a good night. Dumb as it Full gets. Full of awe.